<laughs> Welcome back, folks, to the Tarpon Demons mission here at, for the first part, at the Everglades. And I have a sneaking suspicion the ground baits are going to work really well. I'm going to test them on the second part. The first part, though, uh, I had uh, flow poles out. You can catch them during the day. I've had I've had flow poles and bottom rods. Flow poles, I did not catch a single one. And in fact, on the bottom rods, I didn't catch them anywhere. So on bottom rods, I uh, didn't catch any until I had this on. That could have been luck because once I put it on, I could catch them on all poles. Uh, but it is a 4-0 to a 6-0 will work. And I did not catch them anywhere but out at the normal tarpon spot. And I had my rods everywhere. Uh, doesn't mean you can't catch them anywhere else. Uh, it just means that uh, that was definitely the best spot by a mile. And it is negative 270.45. One thing to note uh, with this as well is I do think the ground baits are going to help these. I'm going to test that on the next part of the tarpon deal. And also, during the day, I did catch more regular tarpon, and you will go through a lot of these baits. I tried the beginning of the night, the end of the night, and the middle of the nights. Uh, also, on a few of these, as you'll see, the times change on them at the end. Um, I didn't notice much different. It seems like this bait will pull out tarpon even in the low spots, because a lot of times with event fish... If, if you fish low peaks, we've talked about this a lot on the channel. Event fish are almost better to fish the low peaks. This didn't seem to make much of a difference, guys. So, I'm at Blue Crab, and I sat a while and tested. So, this isn't me just saying this works, because you'll run across a lot of people that will take five minutes and say, oh, it really works, or it doesn't work. Um... Like, again, like I said earlier in Halloween, these ground baits work... Um, a little, you know, they worked a little bit before, but on this, this one for sure was a night and day difference when I put the mix in a closer, in a, a closed feeder. It can be an open feeder too, and you just make sure, um, I, I, I haven't caught them without the hell's bells on one pole, but I, doesn't mean it's not possible. Um, once I put the Hell's Bells on one pole, they all can catch it, it seems like. So, with that being said, I use a 6-0 and Infernal Crabs. And honestly, guys, you may only want to use a couple poles here because it gets so out of control. You get When you use the ground bait, that you can't even keep up. So, I lost way more than I could keep. And I also think that... These are going to be the XP fish if you are into that. These do give good money in XP uh, for their size, uh, which is not too bad. So in this bag, you can see, uh, you know, 3,700 XP and $6,300. It's not too bad, but you could sit here and level on them if you wanted. And you can see I did catch a couple other fish, um, but... It was so much better with the ground bait than without it. Uh, just take my word. So my other bag that I tried using without the ground bait was way worse. So anyway, make sure you guys are using the ground bait. Also, where I caught them at is this spot. This is my favorite tarpon spot right here. Um, and they did seem to like this spot the best. Some other places, guys, down here, uh, if you're not going to do an unanchored boat and you're kind of limited on what you have for poles you don't want to be down here because i'm sure some people are going to want to fish them down here uh and if you fish them up here they're more trapped up here as they do get pretty big and they're not gonna they're less likely to run off up here um but uh anyway guys hopefully this helps you out and we'll see you next time folks <laughs>